here's a collection of actual crimes committed by really dumb criminals. Just sit back and enjoy the insanity as we present. Stupid crime stories, you just won't believe. In 2019, police in Wilton, Connecticut received a call around 2.30 p.m. about a woman driving a 2012 Lexus sedan. The woman had crashed her car into a parked vehicle at a parking lot. The caller believed she was intoxicated. When police arrived, they could smell alcohol on the 64-year-old woman's breath. She also failed a field sobriety test which is probably no surprise. Her blood alcohol level was 0.23, which is nearly triple the legal limit. She was charged with DUI and possession of a controlled substance for a painkiller that was discovered inside her purse. The woman was then released. It is not clear how she got home. What is clear is that she was quite happy to get out. So happy in fact that she was spotted later walking into a liquor store. Perhaps to celebrate her new freedom. By the way, she was still driving the same car. She almost made it back home before police spotted her driving erratically and pulled her over. They brought her to the station and found that her blood alcohol level was still over the legal limit at 0 .09. This time, she was arrested and charged with DUI, operating a motor vehicle while the right to drive is revoked, having an unregistered motor vehicle and driving without a license. No word on whether she finally learned her lesson. Also in 2019, witnesses in Massachusetts reported a 2006 Range Rover driving erratically, swerving into nearby lanes and running a red light. If that wasn't bad enough, there was something even more disturbing about this vehicle. Sticking out the side of this Range Rover was a gas pump nozzle and hose. This driver was so drunk that they drove off without removing the gas pump. Police finally caught the 24-year-old woman, who actually lives in New Hampshire. She was arrested for operating under the influence of liquor, negligent operations of a motor vehicle in an open container violation. Police also said that the gas nozzle was later returned to the AL Prime Energy gas station in Woburn, Massachusetts. What really surprised them was that the station is located about six miles away from where she was stopped. That's right, she drove around for six miles with this thing attached to her vehicle. In a Facebook post, the Wilmington police shared this comment. Drunk drivers always think they can drive fine. The post went on to say, in addition to her inability to stay in her own traffic lane, there was something else about her vehicle that caught other motorists' attention. We were able to return the gas nozzle to its rightful owner. More importantly, they thanked the folks who reported the incident. Because at the end of the day, what matters most is getting these folks off the road. In 2016, there were internet rumors circulating about drugs like meth and heroin being contaminated with the Ebola virus. Of course these were false stories. However, the Granite Shoals Police Department in Texas decided to post the fake warning on their Facebook page. Here's what they posted. If you have recently purchased meth or heroin in Central Texas, please take it to the local police or sheriff department so it can be screened with a special device. Do not use it until it has been properly checked for possible Ebola contamination. Clearly this was just a joke. After all, who on earth would be foolish enough to accept the offer? Well, just two days later, the department announced that officers had their first concerned citizen respond to the post. It was a 29-year-old woman who wanted her drugs tested. Police said they then gladly took the item for further testing. She was promptly arrested and charged with possession of less than one gram of a controlled substance. At the time, she was being held on a $5,000 bond. Interestingly, a police department in Louisiana posted the same warning on their Facebook page. No one showed up. They then posted this follow-up. Well, apparently everyone is confident in the quality of their methamphetamine, as we had no one bring theirs in to be checked. While our post yesterday was tongue-in-cheek, the dangers of meth use are no laughing matter. As always, we encourage anyone with suspicions of illegal drug activity to give us a call. It should also be noted that, while most people saw these posts as funny, others were not amused. Some comments accused the officers of being unprofessional. However, as police pointed out, anyone who did show up would at some point also get the proper help for their addiction. In addition, it opened the door for them to talk about the dangers of drug use. 
While that may be true, possession of a controlled substance can still get you jail time. Just ask the woman in Texas. In 2017, a man walked into a 7-Eleven store in the 3700 block of 12th Street in Washington, D.C. As you can see in the security image, he just looks like a normal customer who wants to make a purchase. But apparently, that's not how he planned to look when he came in. He was supposed to look like this. The guy actually walked into the store intending to rob it, but forgot to pull down his mask before going inside. Since he had a gun, the clerk wisely turned over the cash and the thief ran away. But as you can see, not before security cameras were able to get a good look at his face. Police were still looking for the absent-minded robber. However, if he's ever arrested for another crime, he will certainly be charged for this one as well. In 2017, a 30-year-old man in the UK was accused of stealing cash and other goods from a fish and chip shop. The total heist was valued at 4,500 British pounds. That's about 5,400 US dollars. Apparently there was enough evidence pointing to him as the culprit and he was ordered to turn himself in. Like many crooks, he did not. Thus there was a warrant for his arrest. This was at a time when local police had started what they referred to as an ongoing proactive policing operation. It was designed to target those who were wanted by the police. The man lived in an area called Halifax, West Yorks. And officers chose this area to do a sweep for fugitives. When they conducted their raid on his home, the man decided to hide. Police didn't have to search long to find his hiding place. In fact, they found the location to be so amusing that they posted a picture of it on their Facebook page. They added a caption that reads as follows. A male in Calderdale who was wanted by the police decided to try to hide this morning when they went to his property looking for him. You will not be surprised to find that yes we did find him. His lawyer claimed that the man tried to get to court for his hearing, but did not have enough money for public transportation. He said the man tried every possible avenue to attain some money for travel. Probably not a good excuse if you're in court for stealing $5,400. He received an eight-month sentence, suspended for 12 months. He'll also have to complete 250 hours of unpaid work. In 2019, a 40-year-old man walked into a bank in South Korea and pulled out a fake knife. He then asked for the police to be called. According to bank employees, the fact that the man was polite in his speech and actions seemed very strange. After making his odd request, the suspect patiently stood still without making any other demands until the police arrived some four minutes later. The man is said to have offered no resistance while being taken into custody. According to police, the man was unemployed, living with his mother and suffered from chronic back pain. He was unable to afford medical care and only wanted to receive treatment for his sore back while serving time in jail. He was arrested and booked for intimidation. And while his actions seemed pretty extreme, apparently it worked. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Our weekly videos will feature such topics as stupid crime stories, classic TV, and the real stories behind popular songs from the past and present. There will be even more categories as we continue to grow.